Riley Opelka came through in a tough match against Denis Shapovalov, a mini upset. He's been serving big, which is what we expect, but he's also been returning well. The second and third sets, he won 6-4, 6-4, got the breaks when he needed it. What do you think about the way he's been playing and his chances here in Indian Wells? Well, you think about the last month, he's played so many matches, right? He won the indoor tournament in Dallas. He got to the finals of Del Rey, and you're right. He's playing an all-court game. When Carolyn and I were watching his match against Shapovalov yesterday, he also won a lot of the longer rallies. Mm -hmm. So if that forehand holds up, the footwork's pretty good for almost a seven-foot guy. I mean, I, I just love it. we got Brooksby, Opelka, Fritz, Paul, Tiafo, Johnson, Isner. That would be a great law firm, but instead it's a great <laughs> matchup of American men deep in a Masters 1000. Well, the only remaining American female is Madison Keys, and she got through another American player, Allie Risk, in the previous round, really played a solid match, big serving. Uh, she's been moving well, has had a nice start to this year. What do you make of her game, the way she's been playing recently, and what do you expect from this match later today? You'll be calling that one against Harriet Dart. Yeah, I like that matchup, Keys Dart. You can have a lot of fun <laughs> with that if we want to, but Madison Keys, I think she's played twice as many matches this year already than she won last year. I mean, so she's got the match toughness. We saw in Australia play with more margin, more cover on the ball. People have been trying to get her to do that for a long, long time. I like Madison Keys. I feel like she came to grips with the fact she doesn't want to have any regrets when the career's over. And I think she's really put her dedication to a new level and has great support off court.